How many people here have used ChatGPT or an AI thing? I don't think people realize that Alexa and Google Home and Apple Home are about to use this for real, for real. In just three years, AI won't feel like some software you just open. It'll feel like infrastructure working quietly alongside you. That shift is already underway. Gartner estimates that by 2028, about 15% of everyday work decisions could be made autonomously by AI systems. And nearly a third of enterprise software will include built-in AI agents. This isn't about sentient machines or sci-fi futures. It's about systems that plan, analyze, and act across real workflows in research, business, and creative work. In this video, I'm breaking down five real trends backed by credible reports and active projects that show what AI is likely to look like in 2008, why three years matters. Three years might not sound like much, but in AI terms, it's a long runway. Right now, model capability, training efficiency, and adoption are all accelerating at the same time. That overlap is what changes everything. Forecasts shared on ResearchGate suggest hundreds of new frontier-level foundation models could be trained by 2028, reflecting continued scaling rather than a slowdown. At the same time, McKinsey reports that about 88% of companies already use AI in at least one business function, and nearly a quarter are actively scaling agent-based systems, not just experimenting with chat tools. Those numbers matter because they signal a shift from curiosity to dependency. AI isn't something teams are testing on the side anymore. It's built into core operations, budgets, and long-term plans. That's why the next three years aren't about asking whether AI will change daily life. The real question is how deeply it integrates, how fast workflows adapt, and how comfortable people become relying on systems that don't need constant supervision. Trend 1. AI as the new research engine. One of the clearest transformations already underway is in research. AI is no longer just helping scientists move faster. In many areas, it's becoming the system that drives discovery itself. Google DeepMind has publicly discussed automated research pipelines designed to generate hypotheses, design experiments, and analyze results with minimal human input. Reporting from the Times in India highlights how these systems are being explored in fields like materials science and superconductivity, where the numbers of possible material combinations is so large that manual testing would take decades. This shift is happening because the bottleneck has changed. Research used to move slowly because humans had to read papers, connect ideas across fields, and test possibilities one by one. Today, AI models can scan millions of scientific papers, patents, and data sets identify patterns humans often miss, and propose testable hypotheses in hours. DeepMind's AlphaFold is a clear example. It predicted the structures of more than 200 million proteins, a task that would have taken human researchers many lifetimes. In some labs, AI-designed experiments are already being executed by robotic systems. Humans still set goals and validate results, but iteration cycles are dramatic dramatically shorter. The realistic outcome isn't researchers disappearing, it's research timelines collapsing, reshaping medicine, chemistry, physics, and materials science in very practical ways. Trend 2. The Rise of AI Agents if research is one pressure point, work is another. This is where AI agents start to matter in very practical ways. Unlike chat assistants that wait for instructions, AI agents are designed to pursue goals across systems. They can monitor incoming data, decide when action is needed, and carry out tasks without being prompted step by step. Gartner expects that by 2028, around 15% of routine work decisions could be handled autonomously 
autonomously by these systems. That doesn't remove human judgment. It removes the constant back and forth required to keep operations moving. Enterprise interest explains the momentum. Market research cited by Super AGI suggests that AI agent sector could grow at roughly 45% annually through 2030, driven largely by demand from companies trying to manage complexity at scale. Businesses want systems that can track inventory shifts, flag financial anomalies, coordinate internal workflows, or respond to customer issues in real time. OpenAI has publicly described a future where millions of cloud-based agents operate under human supervision, handling tasks across email, code bases, internal tools, and databases. Early platforms like Manus already show agents planning multi-step workflows and instead of responding to single prompts. There's also a clear reality check. Routers reports Gartner expects over 40% of early agentic projects to be abandoned by 2027 due to unclear returns or poor implementation. That's typical for emerging infrastructure. The systems that prove reliable won't feel revolutionary. They'll just quietly change how work gets done. By the way, if this shift toward AI systems that analyze patterns at scale is interesting to you, there are already tools leaning in that direction. One example is Overseer OS. It's positioned as an operating system for creators, and it focuses on breaking down YouTube channels to show what's working, like formats, pacing, and content structure. There's a free link in the description if you want to check it out. Trend 3 Multimodal AI everywhere. Another major shift underway is how AI understands information. Text-only systems are already given way to multimodal models that work across text, images, audio, and video at the same time. IDC forecasts that by 2028, roughly 80% of foundation models will be multimodal, reflecting how quickly this capability is becoming standard rather than experimental. This matters because most real-world information isn't text. It's spoken conversations, diagrams, screenshots, photos, videos, and documents mixed together. Multimodal systems are built to handle that messiness. Today, early versions can already watch short video clips, identify objects and actions, and answer questions about what happened. Others can take voice input, respond with synthesized speech, and generate visual outputs in the same interaction. What's changing over the next few years is integration. Right now, these abilities are spread across different tools. As models mature, those boundaries start to disappear. A single system can move from reading a document to analyzing a chart to summarizing a meeting recording without switching contexts. For creators, researchers, and businesses, the impact isn't spectacle. It's fewer steps, less translation between formats, more continuity from one task to the next. When AI carries context across modalities, workflows become simpler, faster, and easier to manage. Trend 4 Enterprise and the Economy AI's biggest impact may not be technical at all. It's economic, and it's already showing up in how companies operate. McKinsey estimates that AI could contribute trillions of dollars to global economic output by 2030, driven largely by productivity gains rather than entirely new industries. In practical terms, that shows up as faster decision cycles, reduced operational friction, and better use of existing data. Separate industry analysis, summarized by Mind Inventory, suggests organizations with mature AI strategies often see productivity improvements in the 20 to 30 percent range, especially in areas like customer operations, finance, and supply chain management. This doesn't mean every job disappears. It means work changes shape. 
The Times of India has reported on the rise of roles focused on AI orchestration, where employees supervise automated systems, review outputs, and step in when edge cases appear. These roles sit between technical teams and business operations. At the same time, outlets like the New York Post highlight that service-heavy roles, including customer support, face pressure if reskilling doesn't keep pace with automation. This isn't a boom or collapse story. It's redistribution. Some tasks shrink, others expand. The economic value shifts toward those who can guide, audit, and validate AI-driven work. Trend 5. Risks, Ethics, and Governance as AI systems gain autonomy and scale, the risks scale with them. This is no longer a future concern. It's already playing out. IT Pro reports that cybercrime is increasingly shifting toward AI-orchestrated attacks, where automated systems can scan networks, test vulnerabilities, and adapt strategies far faster than human attackers. Security firms have echoed this trend, noting that AI lowers the cost and skill barrier for complex attacks while increasing their speed and reach. That immediately raises questions about responsibility when harm is caused by systems acting with limited human intervention. Governments and large organizations are responding, but cautiously. Current regulatory efforts focus less on banning AI outright and more on accountability mechanisms. That includes requirements for transparency, documentation of training data, auditability of decisions, and clear lines of human oversight. The goal is not to slow innovation, but to ensure systems can be inspected, challenged, and corrected when something goes wrong. The core issue here is trust. If AI systems influence decisions in healthcare, finance, hiring, or law, those decisions need to be explainable and reviewable. Governance shifts from stopping AI to ensuring humans remain responsible for outcomes. This conversation now affects anyone who interacts with automated systems, whether they realize it or not. Looking toward 2030. It's important to separate near-term reality from long-term speculation. Leaders at Google and other major AI labs have suggested that artificial general intelligence is more likely a 2030-era development, not something arriving within the next three years, as reported by Axios. That distinction matters because it sets realistic expectations for what AI will and won't be capable of by the late 2020s. By 2028, what we're likely to see is not human-level intelligence, but highly capable, domain-specific systems embedded across daily life. These systems won't reason about everything. They'll reason extremely well about specific topics, like coordinating logistics, assisting medical analysis, managing infrastructure, or supporting complex creative workflows. AI will increasingly operate in the background. Scheduling, optimizing, monitoring, and coordination will happen continuously, often without users noticing. Humans will still define goals, validate outcomes, and step in when edge cases appear. The real change is scale and speed. Decisions happen faster, systems respond sooner, and over time, AI stops feeling novel and simply becomes part of how things work. If you made it this far, let us know what you think in the comments. And if you're curious to explore how AI is already being used to analyze patterns and content and workflows, there's a link to Overseer in the description you can check out. For more topics like this, make sure to watch the recommended video on your screen right now. Thanks for watching.